video, I'm going to be unboxing a couple of cool survival things as well as some other, another random thing. I'm getting this decoration for my room. Yeah, let's hop into it. Grab you haven't already, leave a like if you haven't yet, and comment down below. Yeah, let's get started. Alrighty, let's get into it. Alrighty, so first we have the Outdoor Survival Kit. This is running you 30 bucks Canadian. I'll put a link down below as well as with the other products that I'm checking out in this video. And this comes with a paracord bracelet, a wire saw, water bottle clip, emergency blanket, fire starter, tube for like blowing on fire to get it going hotter, tactical flashlight, saber card, survival pen, spoon fork combo, two carabiners, paracord, fishing tools, compass, a waterproof storage bag. All right, let's, uh, let's get into this. It's got a nice solid hard shell case with uh, some string on it to uh, you know, want to attach it to a backpack. Four latches, so two on the front, one on each side, nice and secure. You got the emergency blanket right there. You got the uh, spoon and then the, uh, the knife combo. So a little two in one uh, cooking utensil. I guess three in one because there's also some pointy parts for uh, for a fork. Comes with a case that you can also use to uh, blow on a fire to uh, get it going. It's pretty cool. Looks like it comes with, uh, with a string as well. So you tie this to it. Yeah. So that's that. Oh, cool. So this is for a water bottle. So you can clip this around a water bottle and uh, attach it to a backpack. Yeah, you're gonna use the, like open that up like that and then connect it and then clip it to here attach it to something with this uh this part here so it has a button as well as a velcro that's pretty cool and we got the uh, paracord bracelet which has a compass built into it um and obviously this paracord so it can be detached and actually like used in an emergency it's got a whistle as well right there a little sharp knife you need to cut something a little fire starter as well built into there that's pretty cool yeah there we go that's how that goes on, just like that. Rocking this, you've got a compass built in, which is pretty cool. Yeah, pretty good quality as well, cool. And then you got a little flashlight, either has batteries in it, if there's not, I'll take it some batteries for that. Unless they're in here and they just have to be activated. That's cool, so that can be pulled out, so you can adjust the uh, size of the, the size of the light. It looks like uh, double A's potentially, so I'll grab a couple of those. This has a little, little belt clip on it as well, so attach this to your belt, which is pretty cool. Nice and lightweight. You got this uh, survival pen, has a glass breaker on it, a little clip to attach to your belt. And this has a few extra other other things as well. A little screwdriver, that's pretty cool. That comes out if you need if you need to. And just attaches back in like that, and then that screws in that way. Nice and grippy. Pen part retracts in when you don't need it. That's pretty cool. Nice high quality metal pen. You got a fire starter with that little ruler and a bottle opener. Pretty cool. A little attachment for that. You got some paracord. Too much, but just a good little small amount. Oh, maybe this is the blow fire, the blow fire tube. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. You got this uh, old style compass. Pretty cool. So you can see all the different directions. And this does come with carabiners. I do also have a couple others, so I'll probably attach one of those to here. So that's pretty cool. And then speaking of carabiners, there's one of them. Nice heavy duty with the uh, rotating lock. Keep them, keep them nice and secure. Pretty cool. And another one, same idea. Got some tinder for uh, starting fires. This cool little wallet survival tool. So it's got a can opener, knife edge, screwdriver, ruler, cap opener, four position wrench for various size nuts and bolts, and bolt head, butterfly wrench, saw blade, direction, ancillary indication, and two position wrench, and a lanyard hole as well or use like it to attach to a keyring. That's it right there. That's pretty cool. Lots of different tools built in. Stainless steel. Good quality comes with a little, little case, which does feel a little flimsy, but does does the job nonetheless. Yeah, probably put that in my wallet. That's just in case. Some different fishing tools, hooks, baits it looks like. That's pretty cool. The uh, wire saw. So you use this to uh, obviously cut stuff. A little bit of padding on the inside. Yeah, so that's the uh, outdoor survival kit. That's running you 30 bucks. Lots of little useful survival things. Yeah, let's keep it moving. All right, let's keep going. All right, so next we got this cool portable solar charger. That's it right there. This will run you 70 bucks Canadian. Uh, for me, there's a $20, $20 off coupon. So check for that, because that might be the case for you as well. Definitely take advantage of that. It's 32,800 milliamps. Chargers with a normal DC charger via USB-C for fast charging in six hours, or via micro USB, which charges in 12 hours. Also, you can use the power of the sun, which is pretty cool. Includes a micro USB, USB-C, and a lightning cable built in. It also has a built-in flashlight as well. It's made of premium ABS and uh, PC silicone material, so it's IP65 waterproof, dustproof, and shockproof. So it's pretty rugged, and it also has a built-in dual LED super flashlight with three different modes, which we'll test. It's bright, bright light, SOS, and strobe. It's got a wireless charging pad built in as well. It includes LED indicators to show the uh, charge level, and charge six devices at once. Let's hop into it. 
So simple presentation. Got some of the specs that we already went over. 72 hour safety test, charging by solar energy, waterproof and shockproof, lithium polymer battery. We got the uh, user manual right there. Shows the, oh, it's also got a hanging ring so you can hang this like in a tent, which is pretty cool. And like a cabin, the charger itself. And then underneath, oh cool, we get a little uh, carabiner to attach to this. Got the USB cable, so it doesn't come with the USB-C charger for uh, charging. I do have quite a few of those around, so that's no problem. Yeah, so actually not too heavy considering how much uh, capacity this has. It's got a flap for the uh, charging ports. It's got the USB, USB-C and micro USB. Close that up, make sure it's all properly protected. LED lights on the top, power button on the side. You got almost full charge, pretty well full charge, so that's pretty cool. Little spot to attach this uh, carabiner, just like that. That's pretty cool. That's the uh, dual flashlight, the uh, wireless charging pad, and you got the three different cables on the bottom, so lightning for your iPhones and uh, AirPods and older iPads. And you got USB-C for Android phones and uh, pretty much any piece of modern tech, earphones, that sort of thing. And you got micro USB for charging older devices like uh, portable chargers, PlayStation 4 controllers, pretty cool. Obviously, wireless wow, charging pad right there. The flashlight, which uh, I assume you trigger with the power button. There we go. That's on now. That's the strobe. The flash, that's the strobe. Cool. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, we're actually full charge out of the box. That's pretty awesome. Love to see that. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to come right back and going to plug in some devices and test. Claim this can charge six devices at once. I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, here we go. Let's check out the uh, charging capabilities of this, this charger here. So you got the uh, three cables that are built in. We'll start with the uh, lightning. So I've got my... AirPods Pro first generation. Yeah, see the light, that's charging. The USB type C, throw my Razer Hammerhead earbuds. Another type C, yeah, that's charging as well. And for the micro USB, we'll grab this Mophie portable charger that I've had for a good number of years. Yeah, and that's charging to the lights. That's three so far. I'll open that. C cable right there, and the iPad. And that's charging as well. Turn into a mess rapidly. <laughs> there you go, USB, USB cable open there. This marked USB cable that came with it. That guy in as well. That goes there. I'll put it into my Sony XB10 uh, Bluetooth speaker, which still uses micro USB. Had it for a few years now. I see the light, that's charging as well. Now let's check out the wireless charging. Got a Samsung, Samsung phone here, S21 FE. And there we go. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six devices at once. All charging at the same time. This is pretty cool if you're traveling, if you're camping, for example, even just in the car, charge a whole bunch of devices all at the same time during a long road trip. It's got a flashlight built in, it's rugged, it's waterproof, shockproof as well. It has three cables built in for anything you might need, plus you can plug in two more and use wireless charging as well. Wireless charging is pretty slow, I think it's about five watts or so, so it's gonna be on the slower side, but yeah. Pretty cool that you have the option to do that. Let's uh, check out one more product. Alrighty, the last product is uh, Three by five foot Canada flag with an embroidered maple leaf that I'm gonna hang probably behind me here on the wall. So nice big high quality Canada flag, three feet by five feet, same as the American flag behind me. Yeah, there we go, that's pretty cool. Alrighty, let's wrap up this video. Alrighty, yeah, so that was a couple of uh, cool survival things. This solar powered portable charger that can charge up to six devices at once with a double flashlight built in, 32,800 milliamp uh, capacity. So nice big battery with a carabiner on it as well. And this cool survival kit which has a bunch of uh, little things in it for survival including this bracelet which is pretty cool it's got a whistle and a little knife built in as well as a compass so that's pretty dope obviously it's made of paracord so that can be used uh can be taken apart if you need to yeah that's uh just a couple of cool things i wanted to uh check out subscribe if you haven't already leave a like and uh comment down below let me know what you thought if you have any more recommendations for uh products you want me to check out related to uh survival stocks and definitely exploring more into that and uh yeah, it's pretty interesting stuff. Good to have as well, just in case. Yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you've been already. I'll be back more soon. Peace.